Well, some Democratic lawmakers ripping President Biden's decision to send these cluster munitions to Ukraine. The president defending the move. He says the weapons are vital in the fight and the war against Putin's army. It took me a while to be convinced to do it. But the main thing is they either have the weapons to stop the Russians now from their keep them from stopping the Ukrainian offensive through these areas or uh, they don't. And I think they needed them. Yeah. Former Vice President, 2024 presidential candidate Mike Pence is with me now. And, sir, thanks for coming back and thanks for being with us today. Thanks, Bill. I, I, thanks for having me yeah. on. I, I want to move through this quickly here. You've been in Ukraine, you know, you've met with Zelensky, you were there recently as well. Um, I did. We just I did. had General Kellogg on 30 minutes ago. And with the cluster munitions and the amount of armament that's either going in or not being able to go in, um, there was a quote that we picked up from yesterday. We kill a hundred Russians, they put in a hundred more. We kill them, they put in a hundred more after that. Has this war then reached a stalemate that Putin wants and could work to his favor? And is that the outcome of what comes of this NATO summit in Lithuania? Well, Bill, I, I, did, I did go into Kiev at the invitation of President Zelensky. I met with his military team. I also met with relief workers working with uh, Samaritan's Purse. And then all last week, Karen and I were in Iowa, traveling around to gatherings large and small, celebrating Independence Day. But everywhere I heard, I heard people were reaffirming the belief that America is the leader of the free world. Uh, but Joe Biden has not been leading uh, in the way the American people want him to lead. He's, he, frankly, he hasn't explained what our national interest is in Ukraine. He gives these gauzy speeches about democracy. But look, our, our interest there is to give the Ukrainian military the means to repel Russian aggression. This is a straight up Russian invasion. This is not a territorial dispute. Uh, uh, Vladimir Putin is not a genius. Uh, the American people know it's in our interest to give the Ukrainians what they need to stop them there. But Joe Biden's been slow on it. I mean, he just approved a cluster munitions, which the Russians have been using for a year and a half against Ukrainian forces. Uh, but what I heard from President Zelensky is they're still waiting on the 33 Abrams tanks that were promised back in January, uh, and they're still waiting for U.S. approval to transfer F-16s from one of our NATO allies. Bill, it's just, uh, Joe Biden, I think, has done a terrible job explaining our national interest. Uh, he's, been, he's been slow in providing the support. I welcome the cluster munitions. But I saw and heard, uh, and I visited the old front lines uh, in a place called Moshe and, and Bucha, just north of Kiev. These Ukrainians have demonstrated their toughness. They can fight and win and repel the Russian invasion. But we got to do a better job getting them what they need. Right. Listen, I mean, there's no doubting what their motivation is in this war. And they've proven that time and again. But you can just look at the Wall Street Journal today. Why the Ukraine counteroffensive is such slow going. The Russians are dig. They have dug in for 15 miles. Yeah. That's a tough thing to crack. So back to General Kellogg from 30 minutes ago. How's this war end? Well, I, I think it ends uh, by giving the Ukrainians what they need to win. I mean, there's, there's some talk, my former running mate likes to talk about solving it in a day. The, the only way you'd solve this war in a day is if you gave Vladimir Putin what he wanted. And I, I, I got to tell you, they're all meeting in Vilnius in Lithuania, Bill, this week for NATO. And I got to tell you, if I really believe, and I've met Vladimir Putin, I've looked him right in the eye, I would tell you, if Vladimir Putin overruns Ukraine, if he simply wears down the United States in the West, I have no doubt in my mind that he's going to cross a border, maybe Lithuania itself, or Estonia, or Latvia, or the countries in the Baltics. And those would be countries where we'd have to send our, our armed forces to go and fight under our NATO treaty. Uh -huh. And so I, I, think, I think it's in the interest of our country to give them what they need, to stop them there, repel them there. And make no mistake about it, Bill, I think this is the most, the most effective way to send a message to China uh, that uh, America and the West will not tolerate uh, military aggression by Russia or by China to redraw international so maybe lines that's by how force. President Biden should explain it, but Janet Yellen was just there. You got two administration officials going to Beijing uh, in a very short order of time. You mentioned Donald Trump there. You said, my former running mate. Zelensky was asked about Trump's claim of 24 hours over the weekend and said this. 
It looks as if Donald Trump had already these 24 hours. If we are talking about ending the war at the cost of Ukraine, in other words, to make us give up our territories, well, I think in this way Biden could have brought it to an end even in five minutes. But we would not agree. You brought up the topic. If you're on that debate stage, what would you say, Donald Trump, about that claim of 24 hours? Well, I, I would say, look, uh, the reason why Russia did not even attempt to redraw international lines by force during our administration is because we were strong. Uh, we made it clear that we not only would had rebuilt our military, but they were willing to use military force in Syria, our armed forces taking down ISIS. Uh, uh, and frankly, we took down over 100 Russian soldiers in a military engagement uh, in Syria itself. So, uh, look, I, I understand President Zelensky's uh, frustration. The Russians were in Crimea. They had taken that area during the Obama years. But look, there's only one pathway towards success here, and that is to give the Ukrainian military much more quickly than Joe Biden has done what they need okay. to repel the Russian invasion well, we, we and reclaim will, their country. And we'll see. Maybe that's the outcome of what happens in Lithuania. We shall see. Sir, thank you for your time. I hope to speak to you again. Thank you. Mike Pence, the former you bet, president. Bill. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.